Damn. <laughs> well, 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 that was, that was Link, 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 the sound, the sound of love. Of love. What y'all think about that? I actually want to run that back because yeah, that's some, you know, I had a little bit of that that ye that that uh, yay energy up in that mug. Thank you for that dono. That's all. Always a pleasure to see you up in this bitch. Hey. Yeah, this remind me of some old West Coast shit. So, oh, Link, he he came back just in time. Said intriguing. Yeah, I, I like I like the approach. You know, forwards and backwards. Yeah, you can tell there was a lot done in this, and, it, and this composition is very good. I, I did like the vocal performance. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke! Showing support. We appreciate ya. Oh, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> I was like, I was waiting for some, some other uh, dialogue in that. Um, have I messed with Cakewalk in the NPC beats? With No, I have not... I mean, where would I get Cakewalk at this point? I think it's free, right? Uh, I haven't, but I haven't pulled it up inside of there. It should work just like it would in any other DAW. It just when you use the NPC software as a VST plugin, it just overall enhances the experience of what, what you're gonna do, especially um, if you don't have control over your drums the same way or sampling is in the same way. What I find with uh, DAWs outside of Ableton Live is that they don't chop samples very good. <clears throat> and when I say chop samples, I mean like chop like in in a in a more traditional way, you know what I'm saying? Like most groove boxes that that I've got my hand on, and I, I won't I won't take up y'all guys' time so so hard. Uh, I just want to listen to this track in the background while I talk. But um, <clears throat> what I find uh, a lot of groove boxes have moved on to kind of NPC style because that's the most popular style. Uh, so you know when you go to a DAW like Fruity Loops or whatnot, and you open up Slice X, it's always a hell of a disappointment to see that they have not made that adjustment. But fortunately enough, uh, Serato sample exist and you can just buy that and, and then you can have that access uh, that's pretty much on the same level as like Ableton Simpler, you know what I'm saying? And that's on about damn near the same level of uh, the MPC software or hardware. So, you know, that it is what it is, but we're gonna keep this thing moving and grooving. We're gonna get this shit back up in here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get to the next person here. We're about an hour and 35 minutes in. You know, I'm paying attention to the chat. I said, y'all like it? Oh, no, I, I loved it. I loved it, Link. Like, I love that shit. Trust me. Um, did I, I almost skipped someone. I, I, no, did I? Oh, no, okay. He sent it twice. Okay. So, Brian Toledo uh, is on deck. So, let's go ahead and check that uh, Brian out real quick. on the track. 